Jeremiah chapter 5. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, talking to the Jews in Judah, and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof, if you can find a man, if there be any that executes judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. Tell so, so Jeremiah, if you can go in the city and find someone. Now you know, just real quick, a pardon, we're going to see it again. A pardon cannot be issued to anybody if they're not guilty. You got to get that. You got to know that. A pardon cannot be issued to an innocent person. So he's telling Jeremiah, I want you to go find a guilty person. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. There are people out there today who claim the name of Jesus, claim to be Christians, claim to be God, claim to be called of God, claim to be men of God, blah, 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 blah. And God says, you're a liar. Paul says they're, they're, they're ministers of Satan. O Lord, are not thy eyes upon the truth? Yes, they are. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Thou hast stricken them. Correction. I don't mean I'm correcting the Bible. It's for correction. But they have not grieved. Imagine punishing your child and they just get up and like, yeah, so what? Think I'm going to stop? Thou hast consumed them. But they have, they, but they have refused to receive correction. I've not witnessed that. I thank God for my mom correcting me growing up because it stopped me from doing I mean, I did things wrong. I've sinned. But if I didn't have a mother that corrected me as a child, I don't know what I've been. But here are people that God's correcting them as their father and they're giving in to nothing. They have made their faces hotter than a rock. They have refused to return. No repentance. You know what God's got to do to them? He's got to bring them down. He's got to call for the enemy to come in. Therefore I said, Surely these are poor. They are foolish. For they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. This is Jeremiah speaking. What Jew would you get? What American would you get that would speak against American? What German would you get to speak against the Germans? What Englishman would you get to speak against England? Truthfully, honestly, and mean it. I will get me unto the great men and will speak unto them. For they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their God. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. They're, they're worthless now. They did know the way of the Lord. They did know the judgment of God. Now they're failures. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them. The ones in verse 5. And a wolf of the evenings shall spoil them. A lion goes by day and a wolf goes by night. And a leopard shall watch over their cities. Every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many, and their black their backsidings are increased. Leopard, I mean a lion, Hosea thirteen seven, a wolf, Daniel seven four through seven, a leopard, Revelation thirteen twelve through seventeen is the Antichrist. How shall I pardon? There's that part again. God speaking now, how shall I pardon thee for this? They haven't repented. They have not proclaimed their sins. They have not proclaimed their guilt. Thy children have forsaken me. 
and sworn by them that are no gods. We'll run across Asterisk later. The Queen of Heaven later. When I have fed them to the full, America. You got to admit one thing. God has blessed this country to the fullest. I don't think any other nation has been blessed uh, unlike Israel. Babylon was, was called the Golden City. But look where she is now. Look where America's going. Look where Judah was. Look where Judah is today. When I have fed them to the full, they, they then committed adultery against God, we were reread. And then physical adultery, like America, and assembled themselves by troops, a lot of people, in the harlot's house. So what's the common thing that <coughs> of our mil military men? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. When given leave, where do they go? You know? Isn't it funny? Let's be real now. Let's be real. Bible's a true, honest book, right? Where did the men of Joshua end up in the city of Jericho? Let's be real. You remember what her profession was, don't you? No American armies of all the battles have always found that one house to suit their pleasures. And how many people do you see in the newspaper get arrested from a prostitution uh, uh, prostitution uh, what do you call it? Raid by the troops. They were as fed horses in the morning. And everyone nigheth after his neighbor's wife. What a what a bold statement to say. Shall I not visit for these things? Shall I not bring judgment? God saying, saith the Lord. And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Now you can put that on America. Like I said, God blessed America. Blessed. Past tense. But she's going to fall. And she's going to sin. And you think God's just going to sit back and not let anything happen when he does this to Judah? America is following the sins of Judah. That's what happens when we take the Bibles out of the school? You know, if you were to take the 12 years, 13 if you count kindergarten, and teach the students from kindergarten to graduation, the Bible, if you were to teach them, I don't know, maybe junior high and high school, the life of the kings and the condition of Judah in 1st, 2nd Kings and 1st, 2nd Chronicles, our nation would not be where it is today. And if it would be this way, somebody like who has a Bible and is a born-again Christian who studies his Bible like he's told would look and say, hey, you know what? It's the same thing that Judah's doing. Go ye upon her walls, and destroy, but make not full end. The rendment. Take away her battlements, her army, her, de her defenses, for they are not the Lord. They're not relying on God. They never have since the kings came. They trusted in Saul, not God. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah, north and south, 
have dwelt very treacherously against me, saith the Lord. Hope that ain't your testimony. I hope that's not what God can say about you. And again, I'm not going to have the bold testimony that God had of Job before Satan. But I hope God can't say it, that guy is treacherous. Not a good testimony. They have beliled, and that's to counterfeit, false representation, mimic the Lord, and said, It is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine, and the prophet shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them. God ain't going to do nothing to us. God says the loving, sweet, kind, little dashboard God that we put on the fireplace mantle that we hold in our hands, that little baby in, in the manger, that's God. Let us all get together. Shall we close in prayer? Jeremiah, won't you shut up? You hate us. Wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. All he said was hell, 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 hell. For 45 minutes, I didn't just say hell. And this people would, and it shall devour them. Second advent. He's talking about the Jews. World War II, where did some of the Jews go? They went into the furnaces. Babylon comes, they burnt the city. Titus comes, they burned the city. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far. Babylon. O house of Israel, saith the Lord. And the house of Israel, that would have been Assyria. It is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation. A nation whose language thou knowest not. Neither understand what they say. Nehemiah 13, 24. Can you imagine having somebody come in with a language that you don't know? That's the confusion they had in Babel. Imagine, what do they say? They're coming through the north gate. I have no idea what they said. I don't know what they're doing. I can't understand what they're saying. They coming now? What what's going on? I don't know. I don't I don't know what they're saying. Oh, they're confusion. Their quiver, and that's what holds the arrows, is as an open scepter. They are all mighty men. They shall eat up thy harvest. That's what Israel did when they came into the promised land. They there was a harvest time. The manna ceased. And thy bread, which thy sons and thy daughters should eat. You're not going to eat it. You'll find this in lamentation. They shall eat up thy flocks, sheep. I don't know if you can eat goat. Thy herds, cow, hamburger, beef. They shall eat up thy vines, grapes, and thy fig trees, figs. They shall impoverish thy fenced cities, wherein thou trusted. Trust to see that? They weren't trusting in God. They were trusting in the, the fences. They were trusting in the walls. They were trusting in the horses. They were trusting in anything but God with the sword. War. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord, I will not make a full end of you. You can't say that about Babylon. There are no Babylonians today. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Why is God doing it? Why did God have Babylon come? Why did God have uh, Titus come? Why did God have Adolf Hitler? Why did God have Russia? Why did God have the Antichrist? Then thou shalt answer them, Like as ye have forsaken me, and served strange gods in your land, you shall so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Uh -oh. 
They're in strange lands today. Serving the people's God. But I already talked about the money. A Jewish man's got to hold a piece of paper with dead men's pictures on them. Declare this in the house of Jacob. And publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O oh, foolish people. Man, if I preach like that down the street, man, that, that, that'd be a Prozac moment. Call the police. He hates us. He's calling us names. He's such a bully. <laughs> So much did you hate speech? Oh. That's exactly where we are. That's exactly where we are. We are right where Judah is. Hear this now, you foolish people, without understanding, which have eyes and see not, and have ears and hear not. You know, I you know why they hear what you're saying. But why won't they get saved? Because they can't see. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence? Exodus 20. And you're like, Moses? <laughs> yes. Uh, you want to tell God um, you speak to us and not him? We... we we got soil underwear right now. We're, we're, we're afraid of him. He's, he's just, man, this, 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 this is just his voice. And we're scared. That was the fear of God. Which ye have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass it. And though the waves are all tossed themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over. God says, you know that sand on the seashore? Yeah. God says, I put that sand there for a reason. Well, why would you put the sand there for? So there'd be no flood. That sand tells that, that body of water, stop. That's how far you can go. But this people have revolted, revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. America is going to be gone one day. Judah was gone one, two, three times. Four coming up. Maybe more. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our God. They're not saying that. That giveth rain. Both the former and the latter. That's the two good rainy seasons of, of the land of Israel. That gives them the crops they need. And it's at the right time. Maybe how God does that. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. <coughs> They're not searching the God that, that gave them rain. They're not searching the God of nature. They're not searching the God, the Creator. Your iniquities have turned away these things, rain and crop. And your sins have withholding good things from you. Oh. What do you think America's going to be pretty soon? How much will eggs and milk go? I live in the state of, of Florida right now. They're saying I think five states have West Nile, and Florida is showing an academic I hearing. I haven't really bothered with it, but I guess leprosy is coming up. And I guess the armadillos are doing it. That bothers me. You know, serve the Lord and do right. But here we are. From among my people, the Jews are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares, and that's a trap to catch an animal. They set a trap, they catch men. That's your churches. Come, 
to our vacation Bible and watch our pastor eat goldfish for the little children. It's amazing how everybody has vacation Bible all at one time, all, all the churches, and it's like they're competing to, to get. Why don't you have one church have a vacation Bible this week? Then, I mean, you got 52 weeks. If you got 52, 52 churches in 52 weeks of the year reaching the children every week with the Bible, not all the other junk, with the Bible, then you'll do something with the children of America. But I'm involved with three or four churches that have the Vacation Bible. And once the Vacation Bible is finished and done with, you don't do nothing with those children. But when it comes to the next Vacation Bible. I mean, you're going to ask me, and I'll tell you right now as a testimony, I believe if you want something like that, you get yourself an old-fashioned tent, get yourself an old hellfire damnation preacher that just preaches the sweat of hell into those little children. No candy. No fun. I don't find the word fun in the Bible. I'm sorry. Just as much as I don't find the word worry. You know, I read in the Bible, the children shall play in the streets. That is a passage of the, of the millennium. Right now, we work. I'm sorry, but I don't know where I got with that. Where am I? For among my people are found wicked men lay wait as he that set his snares. They set a trap, they catch men. How I got that? I don't know. As a cage is full of birds. You know what birds are in the Bible? Why not? You know what Mark 4 says about those birds? So are the houses full of deceit. I've seen bird cages full of birds. Just birds everywhere in that bird cage. And just, wow. You know, the Bible says that there are men that have many birds. Quote, unquote. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. With deceit. They are rich. They become great men. That sounds like Washington, D.C. Vote for me and I'll do this for you. And they get in office. They never do anything they promise. And they get all kinds of money. How come they come out of Washington, D.C. as elected official richer, much richer than when they went in? After spending all that money to get into the office. Mm -hmm. Something about that. They are waxing fat. America. Well, they say the number one disease in America is diabetes because of these children in candy bars and sugar, corn syrup. They shine. And I think that's the oil that they put on them. The oil valet. I mean. Yay! They, they, that's what Satan said. Yay! They overpassed the deeds of the wicked. Wow, they go far and above the wicked. They judge not the cause. They cause the fatherless, yet they prosper. They won't listen to the to the low people. You know, they claim to be of the people, for the people, by the people, but they don't care about the people. The right of the needy, do they not judge? The right of the needy, that means that needy person has a right. But these wicked people, above wicked people, don't see the right and don't want to see the right. Shall I not visit for these things? Imagine God come and knock on your door. You think death is a problem? You think if you open up that door, you see the grim weaker? Oh, it's over with. It's done. You open that door and there's God standing there. Hi, how you doing? This is a day of recompense. This is a day of vengeance. Vengeance is mine. Ooh 
Gee, you are in trouble. You wish death was right behind. You don't believe me? Go ask Pharaoh. Go ask him. By the way, death did catch up with him. And he's burning in hell today. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? He's talking about the Jews. I ain't talking about Babylon. I'm not talking. Oh, I use the word ain't. Sorry. I'm just talking about that. Okay. We're not talking about Egypt. We're not talking about the cruel Assyrians. We are talking about God's people. We are talking about a nation that God. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. You ready for America? The prophets prophesied falsely. God just loves everybody. As I broadcast over all the airways to tell you that there is no sinner. For God hates the sin. And by George, he loves the sinner. For all his children will be gathered in love into his holy heaven. And for this message for twenty four ninety five plus five ninety five for shipping and handling. And a love gift of $18. You too can have my whole take to set on the crap that I preach. How I make God sin. Check, cash, or money order. The love of money. We now conclude the BS Ministry Hour. Stay tuned for the next Wolf and She's Clothing on this radio station brought to you by S-A-T-A-N. Go burn in hell. They prophesize falsely. They're liars. The priests bear rule by their means. Now, do you know who that outfit is? We're building God's nation. Here, have a little Jesus. Open your mouth. Take in Jesus. I mean, if you if you don't listen to our church now, you know we're not gonna we're, we're gonna we're, we're not gonna bless. We're not gonna say prayers for your dead family. And we're gonna, we're, no, 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 we won't do that. You won't be able to marry in the church, and you will not be able to be buried in our graveyard. You just better, you know, you better watch out. You better not uh, I'm telling you why. Satan clauses ruin the world. But he's talking about Israel. He's talking about Judah, where the temple is. And we're going to run, I forget his name, but we're going to run across one of these characters in Jeremiah. In front of Jeremiah. And get this. Here's America. And my people love to have it so. That guy, he ain't preaching love. He's yelling at us. My preacher going to day. I had never heard such a thing on the radio. <gasps> I don't find that on the television. The people love the false prophets. Where are and who are in all the masses of the churches? What is the mega church? My people love to have its own. They are going to give Jeremiah a hard time, God's people. Now, America is not God's people. Don't you put that my people as American. 
But there are born-again Christians out there who are saved and will listen to the nonsense and listen to the crap on the radio, on the TV, and maybe in, in front of the pulpit of some of these false prophets. Doesn't he just sound so great? And here's a question. And what will you do in the end thereof? What's the end of a Christian? The judgment seat of Christ. What's the end for these Jews that God's talking about? The great white throne judgment. Can you imagine a Jew here standing up before God at the great white throne judgment? And his name is not found in the book. And God turns to him and says, you're wrong. How about one of these false prophets? God turns to him at the great white throne judgment. His name's not in the book. Liar. How about a lot of these television radio programs at the great white throne judgment? <gasps> you mean? Billy Jabo is not going to be in heaven? How dare you? That guy's the greatest preacher down south with the flag and guns and glory. And can you say he's not going to heaven? Not all preachers are going to heaven. There'll be many preachers found at the great white throne judgment with their names not in the book of life and the God of the, all the earth, the God that died for me, the God that told me I need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ said. Depart from me, I never knew you. But Lord, did I have the greatest congregation? Did I get rid of the most uh, handkerchiefs? Did I heal more? Get out of here, I never knew you. You workers of iniquity. Imagine a pastor of a church in hell with his congregation who thought they were saved. You want the greatest damnation? Going to hell thinking you're saved and honestly believing you're saved and are not. Because mama told you. Because the preacher told you. Because they said somebody said say this prayer, and I've had I've been witnessing to people. I'm going to come up with this. Let's have to say this prayer so we can get out of here. No. Check out Second Timothy four three through four. These prophets are speaking falsely. I'm looking at the date. Approximately twenty. 600 years, approximately, are in hell and have been in hell. Imagine the Jews that surrounded these people that are in hell with them because of your lie. Imagine these Jews entering into hell after the city has been destroyed when these prophets are saying, no, 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 it's not... God ain't going to destroy this city. Imagine all the people one hour after the rapture happens. For people, no, Jesus is not coming. The rapture. We're, we're going to go through the tribulation. Yeah, you go through the tribulation. I'm not. You know why some of those preachers say, well, oh, we're going to go, you know, they'll say the church goes to tribulation. The church doesn't go to the tribulation. You and your congregation will probably go to the tribulation. But those that are saved and born again will not. You are a false prophet. What are you going to do in the end thereof? And Jeremiah is told <coughs> five twenty, declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, What is that? 
Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. Jeremiah is told, Go ye all into Judah and Jerusalem and preach the gospel. What's the gospel? God is angry with you. And you better get right. And, no, there's no and. You just get, let, let's concentrate and let's work on getting right. Before we get with the and. You know, you know how many people who got converted under Jeremiah? Absolutely zilch. Now Daniel and Meshach and the other guys there. They get right reading Jeremiah. But right now, no one. Jeremiah's good news is you are a sinner, you are a vile sinner, you are a wicked sinner, you are a sinner above sinners. What do he say? He says, your wax and fat, they shine yet, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. All right? Well, what's the rest of the message? No, let, let's work on that message. You are beyond wicked in the eyes of God. And your prophets prophesied falsely. That's the good news Jeremiah is preaching. You need to repent. But let's get who you are. You're wicked. And what's going on and on? It's going, it's going to get hotter. It's going to get angrier. It's going to get good in Jeremiah. It's going to get bad. Jeremiah is going to quit for a little while. 